Welcome to the Probability Review. This is a grade seven task-based assignment. Um, in the notes below the video, and you can see that there is a document for the task cards. So you can choose to view those task cards in advance and try the problems on your own, or you could proceed through the video pausing when it's your turn to do the work. Good luck, here we go. So first let's review outcomes and events. So Mrs. McCluskey will randomly select among the following students to be your partner during a class activity. How many ways can each event occur? So first let's review the vocabulary. Events, these are the events, okay? Choosing a girl is the event. Outcomes, these are the possible outcomes. The girls that she'll be selecting from and the boys she'll be selecting from. So in how many ways can these four events happen? Go ahead and pause the video if you haven't completed this task and hit play when you're ready to see the answers. Let's first review choosing a girl. There are one, two, three, four, five girls to choose from. So there are five ways for this event to occur. Number two, choosing not a girl. There are two boys to choose. So there are two ways not to choose a girl. Number three, choosing Chloe. There's one way to choose Chloe. One of the students is named Chloe. Choosing not Scott. So choosing not Scott, we have to add up all the other choices. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ways, six students that are not named Scott to choose from. Describing probability. You'll recall that there are different words that we can use to describe probable outcomes. We say something's impossible if there's a 0% chance of it happening. Whereas one in four chances is unlikely, one out of two is equally likely to happen or not happen. Three out of four is likely, and 100% is certain. You're gonna use these five words to complete the next set of tasks. Given the probability, describe the likelihood of each event. Again, the five tasks are below. Go ahead and pause the video if you have not completed these yet. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Number one, you do not take the bus to school one fourth of the time. That is unlikely. One fourth, one out of four, unlikely to happen. The probability that your dad will make you your favorite tonight, dinner tonight is zero. That's impossible because there's zero percent chance. Number three, 50% of the time you'll flip a quarter and you'll flip heads. Equally likely. A quarter has two outcomes, heads or tails, so you're equally likely to get heads or tails. Your soccer team wins four out of five of the times, four fifths of the time. That's likely. And number five, the probability that your math teacher will assign homework is one. That is certain. Experimental probability. You randomly pick an M&M from a bag 20 times and record the results. That's your experiment. You're going to draw an M&M from a bag 20 times. Your results are five blue, six brown, two green, three orange, and four yellow. You have a task below, six different tasks to find the experimental probability from your experiments data. This is your experimental data here. Choosing blue, five out of the 20. There are five blues out of the 20 times that you drew an M&M from the bag, and that simplifies to one out of four. So your experimental probability is you chose blue one fourth of the time. Choosing brown or yellow. There are six brown and four yellow. So 10 out of the 20 times that you drew an M&M, you got brown or yellow. That means one half. 
of the time you drew brown or yellow M&M. Choosing brown, there are six brown M&Ms, you drew six brown M&Ms out of your 20 times, and that simplifies to 3 tenths. So 3 tenths is also 30%. 30% of the time, you drew brown M&M from the bag. Choosing not blue. Well, of the times you drew, five of them were blue. So there were 15 that were not blue. So 15 out of the 20 times simplifies to 3 fourths. Choosing purple, zero. There are zero purple M&Ms in the bag. And the last one. Choosing not brown. So there were six brown. So that meant 14 of the times that you drew, it was not brown. 14 out of 20 simplifies to 7 out of 10. Let's review theoretical probability. This is what happens in theory. This is not you conducting an experiment. It's what would happen. What do you imagine would happen in a fair world? So the theoretical probability of drawing a blue marble from a bag of marbles is one out of three, one third. If there are 48 marbles in the bag, how many marbles would you expect to be blue? Go ahead and pause the video. If you have not completed this task, come back and hit play when you're ready. So one third of the 48, remember in math, of means multiply. One third multiplied by 48. One third of the 48 marbles is 16. So we would expect that 16 of the marbles in the bag are blue. Fundamental counting principle. You are, students are asked to pick one class from each category. Three choices, chorus or band for choice one, choice two is your foreign language, and choice three is your related arts. Find the total number of possible outcomes for your choices from one of each using the fundamental counting principle. Go ahead and pause the video if you have not completed the task. Hit play when you're ready to see the answer. Fundamental counting principle says to multiply all the possible outcomes from each event. Choice one is an event. Choice two is an event. Choice three is an event. So we have two times three times four for 24 possible outcomes. So there are 24 different possible choices students can make from these three classes. Compound probability, that means we're going to have more than one event that we're finding the probability of. You roll a number cube and flip a coin. What is the probability of rolling an even number and flipping tails? Go ahead and pause the video and hit play when you're ready. Rolling an even number is event one. Flipping tails is event two. To find the probability, you're going to multiply the probability of event 1 by the probability of event 2. The probability of event 1 is rolling an even number times event 2, which is flipping tails. Rolling an even number is a 1 in 2 chance. Half of the numbers on the number cube are even. Flipping tails is 1 out of 2. There's one side of a coin that's tails out of two sides. One half times one half is one fourth. So you have a one in four chance of rolling an even number and flipping tails. Let's try another one. You roll a number cube and flip a coin. What is the probability of rolling less than five and flipping heads? Go ahead and pause the video and hit play when you're ready. So the event, first event is rolling less than a five. Four of the sides of the number cube have a number less than five out of the six sides. The probability of event two, which is flipping heads, is one out of two. 
there's one side that's heads out of two. We multiply. Four times one is four. Six times two is 12. Simplify to one out of three. So there's a one in three chance that you will roll a number less than five and flip heads. You have a bag that contains nine green marbles and seven pink marbles. You randomly choose one of the marbles and keep it. Your friend then randomly chooses a marble. Find the probability of the events below. Go ahead and pause the video and come back and hit play when you're ready to see the results. Number one, you choose a pink marble and then your friend chooses a green marble. So event one is you choosing the pink marble. When you go to choose the pink marble, there are seven pink marbles in a bag of 16 marbles. Nine plus seven is 16. When your friend goes to choose their marble, the bag now only has 15 marbles in it. And they're going to choose green, so they have nine green marbles in the bag because you chose a pink. So there are nine green marbles left in a bag of 15 marbles. Multiply, seven times nine is 63. 16 times 15 is 240. Simplify, you have a 21 out of 80 chance of getting you pink, your friend green. You could also simplify these ratios before and multiply to get straight to 21 out of 80. Number two, your friend chooses a green marble and then you choose a green marble. So your friend chooses first this time. There are nine green marbles in the bag with a total of 16 marbles in the bag. So your friend has a nine out of 16 chance. You then go to choose a marble. There's only 15 marbles now in the bag because your friend took one and they took a green. So you only have eight of the nine green marbles to pick from out of a bag of 15 marbles. So you have an eight and 15 chance of getting a green marble. Multiply and simplify. Three out of 10 chance of your friend choosing green and then you choosing green. Number three, you and your friend will take turns each choosing two marbles. What is the probability that the choices will be in this order? Pink, pink, green, pink. So now you have four events and you need to find the four different probabilities of each event and multiply. So there are seven pink marbles out of 16 marbles in the bag. So you have a seven out of 16 chance of drawing pink first. Whoever chooses second now has six pink marbles left in the bag out of 15 marbles left in the bag. The next person, probability of choosing green. There are now 14 marbles in the bag because two have been taken out and there are still nine green marbles in the bag. So nine out of 14. And then the last draw is another pink. There are now only 13 marbles in the bag because three have already been chosen and two of them were pink. So there's only five pink marbles left in the bag. So the fourth draw has a five and 13 chance. Multiply all the numerators, 1,890. Multiply all the denominators and then simplify. You could simplify these ratios and get straight to nine over 208. So we have nine out of 208 opportunity of those four events happening in that order. I hope this review helped you. Thanks for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up or a nice comment if you enjoyed it. Thank you.